The knowledge bit, I don't think it's the most important thing. On the other hand, um, our system is really designed around this. Uh, the standardized tests are designed around this. Um, it's probably to a large degree going to determine if your kid's going to get into you know, the college, university or whatever he wants to. So, um, if you're going to value it, value it as early as possible in life. Uh, because what I'm in a very general sense seeing, and I don't know if that's the case in this specific school, but that um, we start to value memorization less early in school because like it's actually not that important you see actually a lot of primary schools or or you know k-8 schools like well we should work more on skills and life attitude and stuff like that but the problem is that we're for a while not going to train their memorization skills but then when they're 15 we're going to say but you need to know how to do it anyway but then we haven't practiced it like if we've practiced it for eight years and at 15 they can do it but if they're 15 and they never really memorized anything and when they're 15 it's going to be the first time they have to do it of course, 15 is the ideal age to tell a student that they need to do something completely different and that we as adults know that that's good for them and then they're going to listen, right? That's 15 best age to do it. No, of course not. They're not going to listen to you anymore. So they need to make that shift way before then. So if they're going to go onto a path of, of classical education that's going to require standardized testing, practice their skill of memorization early on. For the rest, well, I call it like 80-20, make sure that you learn the most important things, skip the rest. And as a general tip, uh, learn speed reading. Like This is the thing that helped me the most in my life. Speed reading to go through a lot of materials. And somebody once gave me a tip, stuck with me for the rest of my life. I'd rather speed read five books on a topic than read one book it, at a regular speed. And uh, what I would like to add to that is combine those two. First, speed read five books to know which one you should read and then read it slowly. But then you've got more perspective from more different authors and then pick the book that is actually worthy of being read, you know, from cover to cover and then read that one. 